Hello class, today we will be making some Russian nesting dolls, also called matryoshka dolls. Matryoshka dolls, or Russian nesting dolls, are a traditional Russian art form and a very popular souvenir for people that visit Russia. Color the matryoshka dolls. Cut along the dotted line. Fold between each doll on the solid lines. So we're gonna fold here and there and here. Write your name on the back of the babushka, the largest grandmother doll. Babushka means grandma, and the largest doll is the babushka. Show Mrs. Tiamogo and friends your beautiful nesting dolls. So if you finish, you can come up and show me your nesting dolls. We're going to need some kind of color, because that's step number one. I've got crayons and markers. You can use colored pencil if you like. You're gonna need a pencil to write your name on the back of the babushka, and some scissors to cut along this dotted line. Matryoshka dolls are a symbol of family in Russia. So you see the grandmother um, is the largest doll and inside her is the mother and then the daughter and then the other little ones. Here is a Matryoshka doll from Russia that has many smaller dolls inside of her. She's beautifully painted with flowers. Their faces look very similar, but each one is a little bit different and there are 10 in all. When your mother had you, before she had you, you were inside her. Right? So the dolls fit one inside the other. Third doll, we have a picture of St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow, Russia. The fourth doll, we have a picture of the Nutcracker. And then the fifth doll, we have, it says ballet, and there's a picture of two ballet dancers, a man and a woman, because ballet is very important in Russia. I use a peach crayon for the skin because marker skin tends to not work well, and some pink for the cheeks. Using marker for the details inside the dolls. That's a cat. That's not part of the lesson. Kuro is very interested. Now on the parts that have writing on them or art in the middle, I'm making sure to use a light color so that I can still see that art on the stomach of the Matryoshka doll and read the words that are written there. You can leave the belly part of the Matryoshka dolls white if you really want that silhouette to stand out. Now I'm ready to cut. When I get to these edges and corners, I'm actually going to twist the paper instead of trying to move my scissor hand. I keep it pretty much still and I move my paper with the other hand. I'm cutting on the inside of the dotted line so that my Matryoshka dolls don't have a lot of black dots along the edges. Make the folds, I flip the colored side down, and then I try to line up the feet so that it's very flat along the bottom and it can stand up when it's done. Just work really slowly and fold carefully. And now I have a finished paper Matryoshka doll with some information that we learned about Russia.